Alright, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to stall, how to solve a one step equation using the addition property of equality. Um, first thing we got to remember the addition property of equality states that whenever we add a number onto a one side of the equation, we add it onto the other side of the equation, the equation is going to remain the same. Alright? So, when I'm solving an equation, all right, I'm going to go through four different steps that I'd like you guys to go ahead and complete. The first step, and this is just going to help you guys to be able to understand how to solve the problem. The first step is to circle our variable. And the reason why I tell you to circle the variable is because you need to remember that the variable is what you're solving for. All right? And when I say solve, you're trying to solve for what is the value of this variable. So you're going to circle your variable. So that's going to be your step one. Then, step two is, now we need to figure out what is happening to this variable. Now, since this is only one step equation, we only know there's one operation that's happening to this variable. So, the operation that's happening to the variable is going to be subtraction. We notice that 25 is subtracted from G. So, we first circle a variable, and then we need to define operation. Which here is subtraction. Okay? So the reason why I'm defining subtraction as, as what's happening to the variable, because what I need to do to get my variable, to solve for my variable, I need to use the inverse operation, or a lot of times we call it the opposite operation. And what we use is, and we notice the opposite of subtraction is going to be addition. So now we need to use inverse operation. Is that on the screen still? OK. So we have use inverse operation. So the inverse operation of, of subtraction is going to be addition. Now knowing my addition property of equality, I can add a 25 to both sides. And my equation will still remain mathematically correct. So now I have 113 plus 25, which will become 138, equals g. And then I notice my negative 25 plus 25, that's going to cancel out to give me 0. So therefore, really, do I need to write 0? No. So therefore, my answer is 138 equals g. Um, and then my, so I use my inverse operation. And then for my last step, just to make sure, I need to make sure I can check my answer. So. For step number four, I know that 138 equals g, so now I'm going to plug that back into my original equation. So I'm going to say 113 equals 138 minus 25. I go and double check. Is 138 minus 25 113? Yes, so 113 equals 113. Let's check. So that is how you solve a one-step equation using the addition property of equality.